about? We gotta hurry! Today, boy, it's just like I've been saying. There's no faster thing on two legs than you. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Uh, I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. Welcome to Wall Market! The pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody! Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Oh, 
How about a bodyguard? It's a rough sword. Yeah, don't need to panic. Shinra's got everything. You two. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. How much? Loud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Come on, you guys. Let's check out the town. Hold on. Let me look at the guys book first. Weapons vendor is a total weirdo. He's not a bad guy. Get out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio.
Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads. Huh? So glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the meal. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Cloud, I have 
come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. And the best girls in town. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. You'll see.
give it to me. Amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. What lovely I've done it again. I bought the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me, sir. If you like, you can have it. Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? Really? 
really cleaning up tonight, eh? As if you're not here to talk with the honey boys. I am glad to be No kidding. You're a regular That rush, that feeling of whatever it is. I completely hooked. And that is the essence of Andrea. Wow. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help to you. try and deny it. I did. Guess who? It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. Hmm? Keep this up. You might want to sign up for disability insurance. Like now. I can get you enrolled in a... What's that? You're very interested in the coverage we offer? No, no way! You've lost your marbles, man! My marbles are secure, sir. Tis you who are crazy. I'm so excited. One more. Come on. I'm buying. Only a select few even know her. Hey, you hear about that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honey Bee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is it's filled with drunks and garbage. over there. He, uh, he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Uh, that sense. I can't stand it. Uh, 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 uh,
Uh, that sense. the two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <clears throat> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <clears throat> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? I should warn you, this technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Uh, wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man! <laughs> <laughs> Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Uh, maybe a few minutes. Hmm? Think you'll make a habit of it? I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there.
Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. Then why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? Remember to bring the tickets, right? You lost? This is for spectators only. This check-in is for spectators only. Oh, I can hardly wait. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold, and there's only one way to get it. 
brutalize your opponents. Utterly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they've had it blind. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the skill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the Bloodstar Beast will battle for your amusement, and the Protoss! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. In tonight's Corneo Time! This place is really something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries, and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two, wait here until it's time. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talking about a bad day? Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first day, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Three one of Walmart gets owned, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Penguin Stalker! You got animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now. Cut! Cut. Cut. That's it. Get ready. Yeah. Go on. Here we go. See ya. Yeah. 
got that. I see you. Here it comes. Let's do this. Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming. What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Aaron! Contenders, please return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team! What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Hmm. Cloud and Aaron. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. <laughs> 